that's so little that even the slime they will have a chance of missing it says, here we go. Assuming our tracker knows, it looks like they've listed it as strength HP. I'm sure we can get that clarified here in a little bit, as the first chest will be the herb, the gold, and the key. No spells yet? Yeah, a little pause on Tyranex's stream to get it kind of evened out. I'm sure when they they see their stats, they're going to be hoping there's a town nearby so they can buy up a weapon and improve on that strength score. Yeah, turn on the yeah, these players are both going to save that money and hope for a nearby town. Very smart to do so, especially with the four strength. That's, um, they're, they're definitely looking to get something good. Whoa! Right <laughs> off the bat, we have red dragons. That's not a good sign. Yeah, for those that don't quite know the zone mechanics, the zone Tantagel is in is called Zone Zero, and the worst thing you can find there is the Scorpion. And the map is broken up into 15 by 15 sections. The zones directly around Tantagel are have Zone One. They they go up to I think walls, and then outside of that, it's free. Anything can show up, like those red dragons. Both of them have now run into uh, uh, the red dragons that have been uh, just resetting and going straight back to the castle. Yeah, and there is nothing stopping Tantagel from being right in the corner of the 15 by 15. And that can lead you to just taking a few steps in the wrong direction and... Well, you saw it on Terrell Newbie's side, first encounter of the game, Red Dragon. Oh, Tyronex has found a town. And, and he's scared him. Yeah, making the hero run with a few encounters. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, you gotta armor up. But do you really want the bamp? Well, you guess he's gonna go ahead and... And go ahead and buy the bamboo pole. It's kind of his only option at this point. <laughs> this is already beginning to be a very brutal seed. Yeah, the good news is he's got a little bit of defense. He's got the leather armor. He can buy a dragon scale here. The agility actually wasn't too bad, so they're at least going to be able to defense break a few monsters in return. And while that bamboo pole... Even on these stats... Oh, no! Wow, Dragon Lord Two Breath on a red slime. That is that, unbelievable. That is brutal. <laughs> you see something you think you can kill, and then it just drops the bazooka on you. Hopefully, though, if we run into any more of those, newbie will uh, know to run away, and hopefully Tyranex will be able to figure out there's an issue quickly. Let's see what regular slimes have going for him. Oh, here's the Drakey. With that bamboo pole, Tunex now actually not being defense broken by these things, so... Good news there, he's just gonna be able to fight this thing down. And it does a good job, in, in fact.
newbie having absolutely no luck here. Oh, actually not being... Actually not being able to defense break the Drakey just yet. However, Tyronex does have uh, one thing going for him in particular, and that is that he can defeat enemies a little bit easier than Nuki does for having armor and at least a weapon. Or, well, he is defeating the Drakey's defense, just the lower end of his attack slow enough that it can still miss as he goes up a level. 4 power, 11 agility, 5 health, 10 magic, and the spell of Kaboom! Herbor, right off the bat, that is great. If Newbie can get up to, to that, then that would be good for him, too. Okay, it's not, it's not actually Kaboom, it's more, it'd be more like Frizzle, but still. Now, that being said, uh, Newbie did have to reset, um, running into a, a rather powerful enemy. Um, oh, Ty's already at level 3. Um, yeah, that's hurt more for you. And uh, that's 21 MP and heal more. Oh my lord, this is, this, this seed started off pretty bad, but now it's getting, it's getting up there in craziness land. Yeah, this is horrible news for Eternal Newbie. Tyranex is about to rock it off, and now, Newbie's just gonna be stuck. Now, Newbie is defeating an enemy here or there, or right, it, it looks like he's reset again, unfortunately, but there was a moment there where they were defeating a few enemies. Uh, the problem being was that with defeating those enemies, um, they had to reset when running into uh, another red dragon, and that has led to them being once again reset to zero. So yeah, that's newbie. Be... newbie went into that cave, which I believe may be actually be the grave of Garen. Took one step in, and there were the fun police. Tyranesis is uh, shooting off like a bottle rocket for real. Uh, just three experience to level four for them. Yeah, just that one hero run has made all the difference. Still having issues with the fun police, though. That is, the red dragons are still going to be very powerful. Yeah, hurt more, not going to help you there. Magicians also having the ability for Dragon Lord 2 Breath. This seems like a very tough seed so far. Oh, here's a slime for Eternal Newbie. I wonder if Eternal Newbie is just going to give up at some point and try manually grind slimes to level. to the next level. Speaking of level 4 for Terran X, 9 agility, 4 health, 3 magic. Spell uh, of uh, spell about... of approximately all of them. Yeah, just about a, a third of the spells possible. I think I saw hurt, stop spell, outside, and maybe repel. Um, I think you're right. I, uh, am, I, am I right or am I wrong? Is that the grave? That looks like the grave. And that also looks like a red dragon. Yeah, I uh, I just brought it up on a uh, I brought up a map just to double check. That is definitely the grave. I watched the path that that uh, he took when he went up there. Now, 
Now I see the first three chests. It's gonna be big bucks. Stones of Sunlight! Very nice. Yeah, one of the key items to complete the game. And it looks like a cow newbie's just looking for slimes now. Power next moving up to five. With a power increase of three, speed increase of seven, hit points increased by one. I missed the magic. It was ten. Even more magic for fireballs. There we go. Well, that means with uh, with hurt and heal, with hurt more and heal more, that additional HP will or MP will be a big help. In and grinding. here comes level six oh, off excellent. the back of this axe knight. Gonna get four, fourteen agility, one health, no magic. But still, axe, knowing that there's axe knights this close, um, even though there are also uh, red dragons in the area, uh, might be a good opportunity for grinding, especially with Hurtmore already in your uh, in your repertoire. Yeah, but he's just gonna bail and can keep on with the exploration. Which is probably a good idea. You do want to find the other towns, especially uh, uh, Rumaldar. Rumaldar, whatever you want to call it. Tyronix taking advantage of his early repel. F2 and G, it's not that he's missed the... It's not that Eternal Newbie's missed the town, it's just that any attempts to walk to the town have been met with red dragons. Yes, walking west is very dangerous for a few clicks. Alright, so upgrading to the half plate. Getting relentlessly trolled by this NPC. Lady, move. I need to take a nap. Very uh, uh, good idea. Go ahead and hit the repel before you uh, renew your MP. And here comes an axe knight to block a tail newbie's exploration. Ooh, nothing west of uh, Garingham. Let's see what's up to the north. Nothing there either. So that's all that is to the west of Tantagel is um, just Garingham, and that's it. Oh, and the, um, of course, the grave. And already up to level 7 for Tyranex as he gains 1, 3, 6, 1. Bit of consideration here. We don't know what's in the back door yet. The basement of Garingham could be anything. Yeah, the only thing we've taken out so far is the grave of Garingham. As the town newbie is making a bit of a push to the north here, we'll see if maybe there's a town up here. Is that a Sparkover bridge we just saw? <laughs> it's a bridge. We don't know if it's Sparkover stash just yet. Uh, I thought I saw a shoreline there. Well, there's Sherlock, and there's a golem, and back to start your town newbie goes. At least we kind of know what's up to the north. Ah, I see, yeah, no, it's... It does go somewhere, fantastic. Spark Over Bridge, of course, is a bridge that, that leads to a very small island of nothing. Yeah, and here's another run for a town newbie. Just gonna take the step and onto the plains. Got a chance here if you can get past this rogue scorpion, but the rogue scorpion has none of it. And yeah, the you can see the strength at level one. It is brutal, and the red slimes have dragon lord breath. But once you get past level one, like that's the secret. Once you get past level one, you gain hurt more. And you gain a lot more strength, so you can compete. Yeah, that's the only good news for Eternal Newbie. Once Hurtmore is gotten, Eternal Newbie is just going to take off as well. 
quick heal from Tyronex, knowing that uh, uh, the Golem could uh, hit him again. And past Charlock heading to the north, getting a little bit more exploration now. Ugh. A swampy peninsula with nothing on it. Yeah, always annoying when you don't have Urgic's armor. Ooh, Demon Knights. Man, Demon Knights are hitting hard, too. Yeah, Demon Knights very resisting against all kinds of spells, so... There's something you really don't want to fight on low strength and a bamboo pole. That's unfortunate. Tyrodex hasn't been able to upgrade past the bamboo pole, at least now. Ty has new armor, but it's still using a stick. Well, a stick is fine when you can cast Hadoken. Is that what that is? Is the bamboo pole just uh, uh, Goku's stick and he's just shooting Kamehameha waves now? We can go with that as well. <laughs> Anytime I can make a uh, Kira Toriyama reference in a Dragon Warrior game, I will. Ooh. Yeah, the fun police are out in, in force today. The fun SWAT team. Yeah, they're setting up roadblocks anywhere. Just Tyranex was able to run the most important roadblock, the Garenham. And you have to wonder when Eternal Newbies, yeah, what Tilo Tilo said, when Eternal Newbies just gonna stop this m attempt to explore against all of these red dragons and just take down slimes for level two. Ah, take down a Star Wyvern for for 105 XP. right into another one. <laughs> and that's level 8 for Tyranex. Yeah, and there's a big power gain. Really good level for stats. On the same continent, which is good to know. Ooh. Werewolves with hurt more. Yeah, not quite enough health to survive that. It looks like Eternal Newbie went for the cave again and ran into an armored knight. Speaking of armored knights, uh, Ty has also found one. And it's gonna be two hurt moists to take this thing down. Jeez. They are hitting really hard though. Yeah, the agility is actually real good for <clears throat> this early on. Just not enough in the actual armor. Yeah, 
And here's another good target to hurt more. Not so much the red dragon. I was gonna say, red dragons are a little bit difficult to hurt more. Is, uh... I don't know if Newbie just assumes that at this point, Tyronex has somehow made it to the three chests in the grave and have figured out that one of them has something important or not, but he keeps going back to the to the grave, not being able to make any progress. Looks like Eternal Newbie did accept that death, though, is it's time to just fight these slimes. Problem is, poltergeists keep showing up too. Oh, another death for Tyronex, unfortunately. Yeah, and JJ pointed out, Tyranex has an 800 experience lead, but depending on what Eternal Newbie runs into upon getting this level 2, that could even up real fast. Here's another slime, this will get him to 4 experience. Yeah, and some of our, some of the people in chat having flashbacks to chaos where one person would get luck, usually in the case of a critical hit. As it looks like Eternal Newbie did make it to the end, to the three chests in the grave of Garenham as the Stones of Sunlight are in his possession. Hmm. I, I must have missed that. And it's going to try to take down this Drakey. If it goes down, that will be level 2, and that will be when the floodgates open. Please. Please. Oh, I cannot wait for this. The you all, turn X is level 9. Going to gain four power, four agility, four magic, four, four health, seven magic. Oh please, newbie! Please. You oh, can do it. We got it. We got another cave on Tyranex's side. Two caves! Holy! Wow! Tyranex gaining an exploration lead as. Eternal Newbie is about to have some sort of emotion. Hello, sir. Have a hurt more. <laughs> I love the little pause on hurt more. Like, really? <laughs> there, yeah, now, now Newbie's gonna break this game wide open. Let's get this. Let's get. Let it go, as uh, Baka Soup would say. Oh, there we go. 65. Oh, and we have a town oh, of Bradbury. I could stay at the uh, Motel 6. Wants to check the shop first, though. Good idea. We have. Ooh! It's a little bit more gold, and you, you, sir, can have a hand axe. A newbie just immediately opening this game wide up, already up at level 4 now. Coming right behind the Tyrax. It, it took a while for Newbie to get started, but they're on their way. Until they met that wraith, and then it all went to. Yeah, Newbie also gained the Heal More spell at level 3, so. All the spells you need for battle. Although sometimes a sleep or a stop spell would be nice as. 
our previous race proved. Uh, that is, is is definitely something that you want to have. Of course, all of our uh, both of our runners will be able to get all of the spells by level sixteen. Although, uh, having Herborn heal more will do nothing for you if you get sneak attacked by a red dragon. Uh, it looks like Kai has found another cave. If they can survive this encounter with the Star Wyvern, which they won't, <laughs> but we'll eventually see what's in that cave. Now, uh, both of these runners are, um, both of these runners, uh, I believe, I know Tyranex is, uh, this is their first time being in the, uh, DWR tournament. Uh, has Newbie, per uh, uh, played before? I believe these are both new runners making a name for themselves. That is fantastic. I see that, uh... The, uh, with having hurt more and heal more, Newbie is definitely uh, beginning to pick up the pace here. Yeah, already up to level 5. Just gotta maybe find some juicier targets and this level gap will close up quickly. It's unfortunate that Tyronix took that death earlier, uh, has dropped their gold all the way back down to 407. Carol knew we are going to try and make it to this cave and is going to get chopped down first by the Axe Knight. I mean... The Armored Knight. Literally a... Oh, I was gonna say literally a tile away from seeing a town, but that town is Hawksness. Yeah, and with the Hurtmore spell and the level 10 incoming, it's worth a check to see this spike tile, as the response speed goes up by 9, health 6, magic 9, and a new spell. I didn't get to see what the spell was. It went through the menu too fast. Oh, it uh, looked like it was, it was either regular hurt or regular heal. I believe it was regular heal. Yeah, regular heal. So, on this force tile that Tyranex is right in front of, there will be an encounter. Today, it is the fun oh. place. You, you just, that is the one thing you don't want. The most powerful enemies in the entire game sitting over what is possibly one of the most important items. One of two of the most important items in the game. Yeah, Tyranex just tries to bop him a couple times with his stick and has approximately no luck with it and dies for me. And, just to point this out, entirely possible that there's nothing there. True that. So that is no fun. And it's entirely possible that it's the Fairy Flute. Which, however, however, being the Fairy Flute could be a good thing. If you notice up there by uh, Charlock Castle, there were a lot of golems. Cal Newby going to test his luck against the Armor Knight. Survives! That was a very nice play. Another level up for Newbie, taking them to level 7. Oh, but 
uh, an encounter with the red dragon again. They seem to be all over this map, for real. They're in the grave, they're in Hawksness, they're, they seem to be everywhere. Yeah, lots of powerful enemies roaming around. I mean, Tyranex is able to take down a, an armor knight, but look how low he goes as he gets 3, 2, 15, 1. That health is real nice to have. Fantastic agility, though. Look at that, 83 at uh, level 11. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, no, newbie. You didn't. Newbie, no! Oh, my God, I forgot to save. Uh, oh, no. Uh, press F to pay respects. I'm, I'm about to cry right now. I'm not even kidding. That is... I am already crying on the inside. I was thinking that earlier, that when they finally got up in level and they died and went back to the castle, I was like, please save while you're here so you don't accidentally reset. We have a uh, rock cave. Five chests in here. Are they easy to get to? No keys required. If one of them turns out to be a magic key, this could really open things up for Tyranus without having to find, um, excuse me, rem uh, Remolder. First chest, big bucks. Silver Harp! There we go. One of the uh, quest items is required to, to beat the game. Yeah, he'll just need to find a cave that he'll be able to turn that in for the Staff of Rain. Unfortunately, the last chest was the Cursed Belt. However, it can be sold for some extra gold. Also, a little bit of information as with that Cursed Belt... We know one of the search spots, other than the armor, will be available. So that does mean that there's probably something at Hawksness. And we have her molder! Yep, and that's going to open up a whole bunch, because that's going to open up the Tantagel Treasury, which is four items. Whatever's in the basement of Tantagel, which, that could be a few caves. And then it also opens up Garenham, which is three chests and another cave. I do have my theory that at least one of those, probably the one in Garenham, is going to be our trip to the other continent, and because we've seen a lot of caves on the overworld, but none of them have been shrines. So I believe the northern and southern shrines, uh, being the uh, Harp Cave and the Jerk Cave, are going to both be, uh, um, and this, uh, and the basement of uh, the, the castle are going to be somewhere. One of them is going to be in in the castle, I think. Anyway, meanwhile. Meanwhile, Tyrannex finding a nice little shop here in Vrimaldar and finding some big bucks in the inn. With that being said, Newbie's about to get level 2 again. I think Newbie's already blown the herb, so not guaranteed to win this Drakey fight. Especially if it keeps hitting for two. They're not quite where they want to be, apparently, uh, money-wise. 
Oh, oh, yeah, and there's your, there's your actual spark over bridge. There's a spark over bridge to a swamp island. Did you see what was in that shop? Uh, it had the... It had the flame sword and it had big silver. The silver shield providing 20 defense, the best defense in the game. Uh, welcome back to level 2, Eternal Newbie. We all feel sorry for you. Oh, you put it that way. <laughs> and F2NG pointing out that Eternal Newbie still has to go back into the grave of Garen to pick up these stones at some point. Oh. That is particularly nasty. Well, three for a newbie. And we have, I believe that was a dragon skin. We got the fairy water. We've got another curse belt. With two curse belts, that means that all of the search bots are available and nothing in the last box, so that was likely an herb. Let's see if I'm right. It's gonna be one of the shrines. And making sure, newbie's making sure I'm saving this time. And it was one of the shrines. Fortunately, it was the jerk shrine. Yeah, you need all of the items for that shrine. Or else he just punch you out. Thus earning his name of the jerk. And Tyranex is making a beeline straight for Garen Ham. Gonna take advantage of those keys. That is a very good call because um, it could turn out that the uh, the two remaining chests in the grave are entirely useless. Yeah, at this point, the main thing we're looking for would likely be the sword. Oh, and there you go. Tyranex picking large up a shield. large shield for 10 defense. I'm crossing my fingers, honestly. I would love to see a uh, Erdrick sword right now. But we shall see. Newbie, well, newbie here's three five. chances to see your wish come true. And we've got a key in Garenham. And that's probably another herb. Or it might have been a key. And we got fairy water. Let's see what's behind Garenham. Another shrine. Yeah, we've got the bonus cave. Otherwise known as the Stones of Sunlight Cave, because this is what the Stones of Sunlight would be in vanilla, but today it's just gold, as we already have the stones. Big bucks, which, if I'm not mistaken, means the sword is either going to be in Charlotte Castle, or... It's gonna be in the grave. Wait, it could be an Erdrix cave, couldn't it? Yeah, we still have lo not located Tablet Cave. We still have not, uh, I believe we still have not seen the Staff of Rain Cave, although that chest is forced to be the Staff of Rain. And then we've not seen Swamp. So, a few possibilities out there. We're also missing Cole and Cantlin for search spots, so. Still lots of exploration on the table. Oh, and Tyranex is actually... I'm a little confused by this. Actually going to go ahead and take the dive into deep Garen's grave. There are two chests down there. I forgot about that. There are two chests down there. One of them could be the sword. 
Yeah, but other than sword, it's just... What are you looking for? This isn't exactly looking like a death necklace seed at the moment, although... Well, we already know- we all know of that big health gain that one seed had, but... Not looking good on health, and... Really, you're just looking for either sword or some conveniences here. We already know the token's on a search spot. We just gotta figure out which one. Karmic balance of uh, seeds like this generally ends up turning out. When you have something that's really hard to start off on and then ends up handing you everything, um, usually that means we're just out of pure luck that we'll end up with uh, Cole having the armor, Hoxtus having the token or something. And the fairy fluid just being buried out there in the desert for no one to ever find. Meanwhile, Eternal Newbie has found some good victims for that hurt more. It's already up to 930 experience, but what Eternal, Eternal Newbie's making up the experience gap, but it's going to be a lot harder to make up this exploration gap. As that was another herb, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an herb. That was an herb or uh, some other uh, item he already has 10 of. Level well, he had nine for Newbie. Yeah, it ha had to be an herb because Tyrannix spent a key to get down here. Well, uh, Tyrannix is going up to 12, however, do not discount uh, Newbie coming up from behind. While Tyrannix has the exploration benefit, Newbie is going up in levels very quickly. And did you see that level 12? 11 0 0 1. Ugh. It's nice to have the 11, but uh, everything else. And there's our Sharlock, surrounded by about 8 million swamp tiles. This is why you, well, outside of the barriers inside Sherlock itself, this is exactly why you want uh, to have, find the armor as soon as possible. Huge areas of swamp like this in Randomizer are not fun. And Eternal Newbie has found Cantlin. Although, what? the problem here is that Eternal Newbie does not have keys. I just want to point out, Ty was over there, kept trying to get up in that area, and kept dying. And finally gave up, and never discovered that Cantlin was there. Could this be the Equalizer? Half plate for a newbie. This is definitely going to increase that defense power. Yeah, Town Newbie loading up with the copper sword, the half plate, and the small shield. Good chunk of gear there. The fact that Newbie knows where Cantlin is, though, is going to be an advantage when Newbie does eventually find uh, Remolder. Being able to run back there immediately to get the coordinates could prove to be at the advantage. And we have Stones of Sunlight Cave, or, uh, Stephen Cave. I'm a guru. Yeah, and. We've, I think we've actually seen this cave for a while now. And I it think was one of the caves we saw earlier. Ty just never was able to get into it because he kept dying. Yeah, I don't think he may have played on it, and I don't think it would have mattered anyways because he only just recently got the harp out of... I believe the harp was in Mountain Cave, right? Yeah, but he's had the harp for a while, actually. Because he got it out of Mountain Cave, which was several levels ago. And Tell Newbie just gonna continue pushing north as we see another bridge up there. Uh, north goes up for a while. I think we might have started at the south side of the continent. 
Yeah, and that makes you think we could get those coordinates and they could be a huge number north and still be on the first continent. If you're on the south side of the map, it could be a long time before you find anything. Yeah, I've... I think the first seed I ever commented was something like a 103 east, and that wound up being first continent, so... Definitely a possibility. The first seed I commented on was, uh, everything was really close together. Um, however, there was just one town. And it was just the one town, and it was, if I remember correctly, it was, uh, coal was the only thing that wasn't on the continent, and you had to go through Swamp Cave to get there. And, uh... Speaking of Swamp Cave... Whoa! Swamp Cave leads to an island that only has one town on it. Yeah, let's see what this town is, or... maybe... It... We know it has to be coal. Everything else yeah. has been found. Yeah, I wonder why Tyrannix isn't going in there yet. There, you, you gotta go back, buddy. I'm very confused right now. Wait oh, a this is cold. Then what did Tyrannix find? Did Tyrannix find Hoxness? No, Hoxness was on the main continent. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh... Did I miss I think we... Oh, and Eternal Newbie has the armor! But... I think that's Breconary? Hey, Breconary! Breconary! Breck! When did... Wait, we saw Breconary earlier! When you... is here? When are, you Tyrannix... thinking, are, you th are you thinking of a different seed? When did Tyrannix go through the, uh... Um... Swamp Cave earlier. I don't even remember seeing Swamp Cave until now. Well, to be fair, all you have to do is cast outside and you zip right through it, so maybe that's what happened. That's probably what He was in I there remember. all of about five seconds. Exactly. Yeah, it must be Swamp South connecting to Swamp North. That has to be what it is, and he just used outside and then missed it. It was probably while I was watching the movie. But... Now he can't use outside. He's got to go through the cave. The question being, knowing how much of a pain that the seed has been, is he going to go rusty Quaylen? Well, he's trying to walk that way, although he took a took the turn too early and bonked. The guardian of Quaylen is an axe knight, so this will be fantastic with hurt more. Boom. I don't know if this was the Guardian or just a regular encounter. We'll have to see here in a little bit. But yeah, Eternal Newbie... Oh, it was the Guardian. Eternal Newbie has actually managed to locate the armor and coal, so that is huge. Yeah, and my bad on thinking that Breconary was on the uh, main drag. Oh... Tyr doesn't seem to care at all about, um, young Gwaylin. He's just here to grind. Yeah, I'd be one to throw down a healing... Yeah, right there. You don't want to fail to one shot and then take that axe to the face for your remaining health. And werewolves have heal more, so... Werewolves, very annoying opponents. They just have, they tend to have just enough health to survive the hurt more, as they also have hurt more. So, heal more and hurt more is a dangerous combination. Tyrannex going to thirteen, gaining five one one nothing. Levels really dropping off on these last two. But yeah, like I was saying, the werewolf has a fairly good chance to survive a hurt more, and that can get real annoying when they just heal it off instantly. Was I tearing next to picking up Gwalen after all? I'm using the 
outside return to uh, get them back as fast as possible so they can get the GPS coordinates. But yeah, he's gonna he's going to have he's gonna take Gwailin back, drop her off, and she will give him a name called Gwailin's Love, which is also known as the Gwailin's Positioning System or the GPS. As when you use it, Gwailin will tell you exactly where you are in relation to Tantagel Castle. Now, if he can find the coordinates, then he will be A-OK -okay on that one and will be able to get at least the flute or the token. Probably the token, but we still see. Now, if he can find coal, then we'll, uh, he'll be in the running alongside of Newbie, but uh, Newbie with the armor right now is doing uh, fantastically well. Yeah, if Eternal Newbie can run across Rimaldar and pick up those keys, this could turn around in a hurry. Have a little bit of a rough time trying to tank that on this Axe Knight for level 11. Fantastic news. Tyrannix going into Hawksness again. Being on a higher level now, though, is it possible that he might be able to take out the Red Dragon? It's going to take all of his resources. I don't know if he can safely do this on 68 health and 70 defense. He might get kind of caught in a heel lock situation. Yeah, you see the 42 coming out. He might get in a situation where he just has to heal every hit or risk death. Yeah, this is going to be an incredibly risky fight. He's he 34, another one of those, and he's dead. And ooh, 33, so one health. <laughs> And there it is, the 36 takes him out. Not going to be able to do it just yet, as Eternal Newbie has managed to wander into Mountain Cave, which is where, where the Silver Harp is. But with no MP, gotta run from these red dragons. Also gotta do this in the dark. And with golems punching you in the face. Oh, there's Sharlock for Tyranex. Are you... Oh, not going that way just yet. We'll see if he manages to find Cantlin. I think... I'm not sure if he's on the right track or not. I don't know which side of the... This little ball of war to, uh, to the east you have to be on, but if he can find Cantlin, he's in good shape. And there's a tell newbie silver harp. The good news is, there's loads of agility in this seed, so running away from stuff is starting to get real easy now. And that does it for Mountain Cave. Now, Eternal Newbie 
I'm gonna try to walk it out here. We'll see how successful he is. As Tyrannex is wandering swamps with no luck and getting his spell blocked by demon knights. Arbonites once again being the bane of everyone's existence. Yeah, delivering the smackdown. As Tyrannex is trying to get to this landmass over to his east, which he will really enjoy it with when he gets there. It looks like Eternal Newbie is making the move back to Garen's grave to pick up the stones. Yeah, and this or is heading on gonna explore this area, get the bad news that there's nothing much over here. As Tyrannex, I believe, is about to run upon Cantlin. Tyrannex, of course, already having the keys going right to get the coordinates. Yeah, and with two cursed belts, you know. This guy is going to have some coordinates. Ooh, 61 north, 8 east. Well, he did preemptively save Gwalen, so... At least he's got that. I don't think that's exactly countable. Yeah. Exactly. I believe the seed was rolled by our restreamer MathGirl718. Go ahead and give a shout out to MathGirl pulling double duty tonight, as along with Archfiend Monk, our tracker, as the tracker for this race. And tell Newbie hang back to Cantlin and immediately leaving. There's a cave here we haven't seen before. Did we see this one earlier? Actually, I believe not. I believe this... This might be Mountain Cave? Where I mean, not Mountain... Tablet. Tablet Cave. I believe it has to be at this point. Yeah, that's yeah. Tablet Cave. For sure. Yeah, so one chest down here. We'll see what it is. Was this something Eternal Newbie didn't stumble upon up here around Cantlin? I think he died before that happened. Well, we're gonna see what this one chest is. It's wings. Orphan's wings are are good to have. It saves you on a uh, on a return, but uh. At the same exact time, not exactly what we were looking for. We were really hoping for Edric's sword there. Yeah, and I believe this confirms Edric's sword in Sherlock. I don't think there's anything else we've seen as uh, Tyrannix gets pasted by the hurt more of the werewolf. Sorry about that. I was suddenly taken aback. There was a burp out of nowhere. I didn't know what that was about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the um, the unfortunateness of uh, Sword being in Sherlock, which I believe at this point, Tyrannix knows this. So he's explored all the other options. Like I'm pretty sure he's gotten all of the different chests. The only place that he hasn't found yet is Cole. 
Yeah, that could be the equalizer. Because I think he was in the general area of coal before taking that de death to the werewolf, so... <laughs> <laughs> so he knows, and, and he's, he's very well aware at this point that they, uh, that the sword must be, absolutely must be, in Sherlock, where Newbie is still struggling on that front. Although Newbie ain't be able to cash in for the staff here at least. And this Axe Knight is going to be level 14 for Terran X. Oh, nope. Okay, never mind why I just said he's short about seven, seven experience. Newbie taking in a, 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 a stab at the uh, Red Dragon. Nope. Newbie running away. Yeah, Numi looked at that for about three seconds and just said, nope. There's your level 14. Yeah, what does this thing have? It has 2, 3, 8, 10. And Newbie has found Breck. Which means that Newbie also has found the, uh, the Swamp Cave. Yeah, not quite the Mimeldar that Ian was looking for. Going to have to travel back through the Swamp Cave now. Let's see if Eternal Newbie just goes ahead and grabs Gwailin right here. Knowing that the uh, the armor is in coal, um, Hoxness might not even be required if Tyranex uh, can use Gwailin's love to find the uh, whatever the, the item on the floor is. Tell Newbie having a little trouble getting through here. Still no Radiant yet. Up here we go. Tyron X is in... Oh, no, wait. That's Rimmelar again. Yeah, Eternal Newbie about to pick up a couple of levels here, but the bad news is these are a couple of kind of poor levels. Now, I was thinking, I think that Eternal Newbie actually saw Breconary from the first continent. There is a non-zero chance that this item could actually be on that second continent, sitting next to Breconary. That would be a very nasty proposition indeed. Although I might be thinking wrong it, so nope. I might be getting my coordinates confused, and it's just over here somewhere. It might be over closer to Cantlin. No, oh, he's getting... It's in that swamp. It has to be in that swamp right there. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think he's gotta go back over to Sherlock and go up from there. 
and or no. I, I guess it might be faster to go back to the castle first. This is proving to be a bit of a rough map to traverse for these coordinates. And here's level 13 for Eternal Newbie and 511 spell. And this looks to be about the area where Tyranex needs to be, so we're going to be seeing the coordinates collected here in a little bit. Yeah, I just gotta walk one to the east, one to the north. McGrew calling the flute. Flute, oh my lord. So yeah, we're gonna have to kill some red dragons. I'd say at this point, if you're turn X, you just head back to Swamp Cave and throw Hurtmores at Axe Knights until you get strong enough to beat the game. The problem is, Tyranix doesn't know that the token is what's there. Oh right, Tyranix has never found coal yet. Although if he keeps going this way, he'll find it. And yeah, he has to know coal is relevant this seed now. Absolutely. Once you find uh, the, uh, if you find the flute on the uh, Bane Overworld and uh, those two curse spells, you know that coal has to contain one of the two items. Meanwhile, Eternal Newbie still hasn't found Vrimaldar yet in order to pick up some keys. And Eternal Newbie manages to find Tablet Cave. I think Tyranex is now on the same island as Cole, if I remember correctly. There, there it is. is. So, in just a few moments, Tyranex is about to pick up the armor and is going to know what needs to be done. Well, let's say he's going back to check out the shops. Or, no, hitting the end. Math Girl 2 and 2, so one of these rooms is going to be in the brackets, and one of them is going to have to play through that playing race. Unfortunately, getting themselves lost inside Tablet Cave just for some wings.
Pure Nice once again entering Hawk's Nest, knowing that he has to defeat this Red Dragon this time. Yeah, this is where the token is. Uh, Boyal, I think... It's three to four people move on. I forget the exact specifics. I'm sure someone will clear it up, but... Three or four of a group of, I believe, about 13 or 14. And if you want a couple of big names that one of them's going to be in the race... In that race... Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern is another 2-2 two and two race. It's Mr. Holmes versus Tristle MTG. That is going to be a huge race. The Tyrenex does give up on the Red Dragon at Hawk's Nest, realizing I, I just don't have the stones right now to do this. Leaves. Immediately gets attacked by a Red Dragon and murdered. Oh, That's so fast, Sunshine. Newbie finally found Remolder. Yeah, this gonna finish up equalizing the exploration, and after that, it's just gonna. I think we're gonna be in grind mode before too much longer. Kind of wondering if Tyrannex is just gonna start on his grind right now. Truthfully, it does beg the question of uh, where they can go from here. If Newbie... Uh, maybe he's going to go check the chest here. But if Newbie uh, can figure out that the uh, they already have the armor and figure out that the, uh, the flute and everything else is where it's supposed to be, or where it currently is, then um, there might be an advantage there for Newbie. Yeah, Newbie gonna go through all these key locked areas now. I believe I'm not sure if that was the first or second cursed belt for Eternal Newbie, but maybe getting that information will kind of point him towards the search spots. So this time we do the. Uh... The Stones of Sunlight were in the, uh, Stones of Sunlight were in the, uh, Grand's Grave, correct? Correct, in the top half. Tell him he still has to go back and get those. Now, Silver Harp was in Mountain Cave. The token is at the Hawk's Nest. Erdrick's armor was found in Coal. We know the sword is going to be in Charlock. The Fairy Float was found on the mainland. While Tyranex still has a big and in, in, uh, he's just a gigantic lead, uh, both in experience points and also in uh, exploration, Newbie is not really that far behind. It looks like Tyranex may be actually taking an overall grind. Tyranus is attacking whatever it can attack, honestly. Ah, 15 for Tyranus. Yeah, here we go. 3, 11, 6, 12. Tyranus is actually using the second continent to do the, uh... me, to do their grinding, it looks like. Giving them access to a relatively cheap in and items. Or he may be just stocking up and then he's gonna run back to the Axe Knight and start taking him down now. Something Tilo Tilo point out about the play in race that these players are trying to avoid. It's also tomorrow at 
I believe it's alone. It's 8.30 or 9.30. Sorry, it's late. But yeah, tomorrow at 9... Yeah, 9.30 will be Up2NG versus Silverfire. If Up2NG wins, then four players from the play-in race get in. If Silverfire wins, only three will be getting through, so... These two and three racers are going to be rooting for up to NG. That right, Tyranex is going for the uh, axe night grind. Yeah, I'd say this is a good play. Just go ahead and get your stats up to kill DL2 and then. You can go kill the Red Dragon and get your go mode then, as Eternal Newbie's back in the grave. Speaking of stats, we're looking at some really good MP agility. This is a little bit weird. Here, they're both on strength HP builds, but the really good stats have been the agility and the MP. It's rare, but it happens. are normally very susceptible to hurt, but, uh, God's that one. Yeah, really unlucky there. Axe Knights have a 1 in 16 chance of just saying nope to your heat, to your hurts. And while Newbie's doing that, you can just see Tyranex rocketing ahead in experience now. Almost doubling in experience of what uh, Newbie already has. Yeah, I think Eternal Newbie's gonna you know, soon realize at level 13 you really can't do this fight, especially when you're only hitting for 12 at a time. gonna make a quick pit stop here, maybe get he's gonna get level oh my sixteen. God, eight. Wow.
That's unbelievable. You got very lucky there. Yeah, now Eternal Newbie suddenly has all the items to make the rainbow drop. The problem here is I don't think Eternal Newbie knows about the Axe Knight in Swamp Cave. As Tyranex goes to level 16, let's see what this has. One power, ooh. One power, four health. Gonna have to go to level 17 here. Here's the thing with Newbie. Uh, I don't think Newbie really, uh, well, I mean, Newbie might care, but at the same exact time, like, here's the big thing with Newbie. You gotta think, he's not necessarily going to be thinking about whether or not he's gonna be able to, uh, do that. He's probably thinking at this point, it's like, with the reset and everything, he's lost a lot of time, and Kieran is probably already in Sherlock. He's probably looking at just going ahead and taking a dive in at 13, which is a bad idea, but he knows he doesn't have to go get the fairy flute. We did, it's right here. So, with the, uh, his, the newbie being the first one to find the rainbow drop, the question is, is he strong enough to take on the Dragon Lord? And the uh, short answer is no. The long answer is not enough health, not enough attack power, and... And you kind of need to heal up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tyrnex having himself a go at a red dragon on the world map. Try Hawk's Nest again. Knowing that he can defeat Red Dragon is a little bit easier than he could before. Of course, he is three levels more than he was when he went in the first time. Or not the first time, but the, uh, the first serious time. Yeah, I imagine he's going to be able to take it down this time, and then he'll just be in pure grind mode. to have the dive into Sherlock from Eternal Newbie. Oh, it's crazy. He's actually going for it. I believe this might just be a dive for the sword. Ooh, good point. He might just be going in for the sword and that's it then going to go grind, which would give him a considerable advantage over time. G pointing out that Axe Knights do not require the sword, just requires the hurt more. The problem is, I do not believe Eternal Newbie has seen the Axe Knight on the Swamp Tile Sp Swamp Cave Spike Tile. Thank <laughs> you. 
Antero Newbie takes out a couple of green dragons and Charlock to pick up level 14. As Ternex is about to pick up the rainbow drop as soon as he picks up some keys for his Charlock dive. There are a lot of uh, green dragons there for a newbie to fight through. There's another one. Yeah, green dragons, generally you can throw a hurt more at them and it'll either kill them outright or severely cripple them, although this one proving a little bit more resistant. The question is, can, uh, apparently Newbie doesn't have, uh, Radiant yet, or any torches, or doesn't want to use Radiant, so can they... Navigate the castle in the dark. Yeah, again, be hearing that bonk sound a few more times this run. As Tyrnex is also diving. Lots of enemies susceptible to the Hurt More spell on the early floors, like the Screen Dragon, as it goes down in one Hurt More. Odds of Death Necklace are fairly slim at the moment. It's a low HP, I don't think they want to risk it. Oh, and Tall Newbies actually made it down past the little diamond room. On one MP now, and ooh, here's some blue dragons. I believe that's the first we've seen of them. Tell you be doing good on this stuff. I've already made to the U, and this is real easy torchless. You just walk south until you bonk walk. To the left until you bonk, walk up until you find the stairs, and then to the right, and you will be in the light. Okay, so for a little game, there are six chests up here in the treasury, shaped in a pyramid. Take your guesses now. Sword ends up being in the vanilla location. Then prepare to hear a few more bonks. Straight to the dead center, and that's Death Necklace. There's and, the sword. Yeah, and Eternal Newbie gonna keep opening looking for the fighter's ring. There's the fighter's ring. And some big bucks. So here's the fire swing equipped. I guess we're going to see what's on the spiked hull if Eternal Newbie can make it there.
<laughs> Meanwhile, Tyrannex not far behind on this dive. The question is if, uh, if Tyrannex gets there, is he gonna be able to. Uh, is he gonna have to head back down and try again, or is he gonna be able to complete the run? Not with 55 MP. He's gonna have to. He'll probably get the same information as Eternal Newbie is trying to get, although the Red Dragon says no to that. So this will probably be collect items, get information, and prepare for the real dive once your levels increase and your strength and health get higher. Might be going for, might be wanting to see what's on the swamp cave spike tall. Tyranix, the Tyranix finally found the sword. And here it is, the Axe Knight. Yep, so it looks like he's going for the Swamp Cave uh, tile to uh, grind on. Yeah, and Axe Knight's also being annoying and packing heal. Yeah, it looks like Tyrannix is about to pick up level 17 as soon as this stone man falls. Now are we gonna see big strength? No, we are not. Ugh. See what the guardian of Charlotte Castle is. It is not actually this red dragon, although the red dragon is pretty fearsome. You'll be moving up to fifteen. Night. Oh, hey, something to spend the last bit of your MP on. I think he's got one more hurt more in him. And he's gonna attempt to uh, finish this off with uh, just a regular uh, attack power until he dies. Yeah, he'll be able to get this one, and then we'll be back to Tangel for him. That's as much grinding as he's going to be able to do today. Hey, he could get a crit here. Nope. Nope. And he's back to start. But now, with all of that being said, uh, Tyrannix has the best possible chance of doing the dive. However, he should, uh, he really should 
uh, bulk up just a bit more. Yeah, his health is not enough to be safe against the Dragon Lord Breath, and his attack power is not quite where it needs to be either, so... We're gonna have to buckle up and grind. And we've already seen Chad calling up to level 21. Jeez. I certainly hope not, but anything is possible. Yeah, I already had a two-hour seed earlier. And this one may be going the same way if these lo if these stats do not improve in a hurry. Both of our runners are opting to go for the uh, uh, the uh, Axe Knight that's uh, hiding in Swamp Cave. Yeah, and you can see the channel newbie's about 5,000 experience behind, and with this being pure grind mode, it's going to be... It's pretty much going to come down to if Tyranex fails a DL2 fight. It's entirely possible. The fact that Nubia has caught up so fast, though, is, uh, is impressive. And here's the level... Ouch! Ooh! So, um... We didn't get the strength, but we certainly got health. That's where the health has been hiding at this entire time. And with that, we're getting closer and closer to Death Necklace health. Magic number being 130 to safely equip the Death Necklace. But they're not quite there yet, and even with the Death Necklace, the attack power would be a little inadequate as the Channel Newbie gets chopped down after failing to hit a Hurt More. Oh, 
hopefully with the next level, Tyranex will come into his own, although I am uh, beginning to lean more and more towards the chat's uh, uh, prediction of 21. Could be 21 or it could all turn around on this next level. We'll see it. 16,500 experience, which is the total amount you get to level 19. Running into Axe Knights on the way to Swamp Cave is uh, an interesting observation. Armor Knights, too. But yeah, you can see the power of this Axe Knight grind. He's. Tyranex is. Once this one goes down. He'll only be about five Axe Knights off, maybe four. Yeah, this next... Well, not quite. He's still got 500 experience to go after this, so... About another 4 Axe Knights. Certainly not afraid to take this wizard down. I, s I swear he's just doing it for fun. Eh, yeah, Wizard's a nice 120 experience, and with his huge defense, it's a non-issue, so that doesn't hurt. Oop, miss menu. It happens on occasion. Thankfully, miss menu here not as lethal as... A miss menu against Dragon Lord. And as soon as this hurt more goes off, and if it's lethal, well, it's not lethal, but this one will do it, and we're going to see level 19. Fantastic. Four power, six hit points. Uh, we're going to 20. Hopefully 20 is the one where we get, you know, 20 uh, attack power. Although, with his agility now, that agility is so big that he's actually defense breaking the Axe Knight with a large shield. Fun fact, if he were to upgrade to Silver Shield right now, which actually might happen if he doesn't die, he's been using Outside and Repel to keep killing at Breconary, so if he actually made the Silver Shield man and bought one right now, he would be Defense Breaking Armor Knights. Which would be absolutely fantastic, given that there are a few Armor Knights uh, that he's run into, uh, both on the way to and uh, going into Sherlock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Carol Newby just not having any luck getting a critical miss on a right youth. These things happen occasionally, um, but should be able to persevere from that. The only good news is once this attack power gets up to where it needs to be, look at all those heal mores. We're going up to 19,500. Theosis, yes, but this match and the one before it are both running fairly long and kind of for the opposite reasons. The first match really did not have big offense to grind with for a long time, but ended with a fairly reasonable level, while this one had a level 2 hurt more, but as you can see here, the stack gains just haven't been there to push us in the Dragon Lord range, and we're having to go up to these very high levels. I find it incredibly ridiculous that this is supposed to be a strength HP build on both these characters, and look at the agility, look at the magic, like it's, it's just, this is a mage build, what, what's going on here? This guy, that could happen. Almost there. A few more Axe Knights to go and we're gonna see level 20. And hope that it's at least 6 attack power. I'd imagine just 4 health would do it. That's true, he does have the death necklace. If he gets 4 health, we can just throw that on there and just be done with it. He's gonna have enough to heal more us anyway. Two more axe knights, and he's got this. And uh, there you see that defense break. The Axe Knight just hit him for one damage. Alright, here we go. Power by 10. That'll do it. 
attack power is finally up to 128, strength at 86. Finally has enough to go toe to toe with Dragon Lord and be have a good chance of being successful. That being said, not exactly 100% foolproof and perfect either. I actually would say he's got that. Look at that MP with 146 MP. Um. Oh yeah, no. I mean, he has the he has an absolute great chance. I mean, it's it's one of those. It's 99 percent, but it's only 99 percent. You still have that one percent of something going horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's something like a red dragon that you can't run away from happens, or a miss menu. Still, I believe that uh, Tyranex has the absolute best chance in this seat to be able to move on to the next round. Let's see what happens. I'm still not discounting Newbie, though. He did a lot to come back from, from uh, that uh, unfortunate reset. Going to unleash the math here. Um, Tyranex is averaging about 10.5 damage per attack with the damage range of 14 to 7. With 18 heal more, so. Yeah, if he rolls average, he has more than enough. And that health and defense also means that Tyranex stands a pretty good chance of getting double attacks, getting two hits in per heal more, so that's going to make it even better. This is a stat spread that I'd be comfortable going with in Chaos mode when Dragon Lord 2 could have over 200 health. So here's the thing I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about a, a single misclick, single miss menu, and it's, it's all over now and done with. Well, that can happen with anything, any build, really. True, but this one in particular, if, uh, if he messes up on a, on a heal more, that's it. Yeah, the problem here is this is going to be a bit of a lengthy fight. And meanwhile, Eternal Newbie is just torching down these Axe Knights as fast as possible. Oh, here's that red dragon, though. Not standing in the way for too long. Level 19, Tyranex is going for the Dragon Lord. Yeah, sorry Tyranex, but unless you feel like taking a risk, you aren't quite there yet. much of a full tier an X actually is. A 
narrowing down it goes with Tyrnex almost at full health, but still managing to get ambushed. I think Tyrnex still managed to get at two swings in as DL's normal attack isn't hang too hard. Yeah, Dragonlord 2 saying, you have 113 agility, I have 200. Come at me. Actually, having a return for Mattel newbie. Hmm. Think he's gonna it's... try to go for a dive at this point. Might be risking it with the death necklace. Although Terra newbie may find out soon enough that it's going to be too little, too late. Terranex just grinding down this. Dragon Lord a little at a time. Still has 10 heal mores in the tank. That's about as good as that MP has been. This fight's been going on for a while and he still has that many heal mores. To be fair though, he's only doing 7 damage, 8 damage. At the most I've seen so far, 12. Well, those 7 and 8s are at the bottom end of his damage range. Top end is 14. Yeah, we're gonna see a double there here, and there it is. Not even mattering. So, get out your GG's for Tyranex. He's going to advance to the bracket stage with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 58 minutes, 58 seconds. If he's going on his level 19 dive, let's see. It's possible for him to uh, to finish this as well. I'd, I'd love to see it. is going to join us for an interview. Uh, we have made the call in the race channel. haven't received a response yet. Although I do see Tyranix in the waiting room. And in fact, I see Tyranix right here. Hello, Tyranix. Hey, how are you doing? So how did it feel being able to make that run to Garenham and get that gear that got you to that level two hurt more. Oh, it was it was, gosh, that was hours ago. Uh, yeah, it was cool. Uh, uh, it was only a bamboo pool though. I, I must have... Okay, you're something happened. <laughs> yeah, something happened with your mic there. Yeah, yes, this mic is made of a bamboo pool. That was probably enough. 
Yeah, that helped to get you over those Drakeys and... Along with all those herbs and... You just took off at that point. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, I... That's the first time. Whenever I get gold, I usually like to save and then, like, explore. And I swear that first time I went exploring, it felt like I went through half the map to the east. Couldn't find anything. It would have been, like, really game-breaking if I found something like... I had, like, over 600 gold, so if I found something like a hand axe, that would have blew it wide open. Especially with your uh, starting strength. Uh, what did you think when you saw that starting strength of four? Well, when I saw four, I was like, let's go see if we can take this money and turn it into something. I was like, if I could find any town whatsoever around me, then, you know. Because four, I mean, there, there were some red slimes in there that you might have been able to take down with four strength, but it would have been tough. Well, considering those red slimes had uh, Dragon Lord 2 breath, I don't think that was happening anytime soon. Oh, goodness. Yeah, what did you, uh, that, that was a, um, that was a, a shocker, um, right there at the beginning. Not only did you have red dragons all over this map, but you also had to deal with, uh, red slimes with Dragon Lord 2 breath. And magicians with Dragon Lord 2 breath, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's magicians, and yeah, the level 2 hurt more was crazy, but I couldn't really find anything. And I would have, like, really jumped ahead, but it felt like in the middle of the game, I kept getting armored knights that would resist my hurt mores, and it just kept sending me back, and I was like, gosh, if I can just get a couple of these, I'm just gonna run away, because I, I felt pretty good about how I started, so. Uh, newbie but, is going for a death necklace uh, attempt. Oh, is he? I should probably pull that up. Yeah, Newbie's on level 19, just going to try to finish this out after having some major troubles at the start getting off that level 1. Oh, I imagine, yeah. I mean, that's that's probably... Yeah, that I was... haven't played very many 4 strength seeds, so, I mean, I don't... But yeah, getting past those Drakeys was really good. But you did uh, have a... A really good opportunity with that yourself, though. You did, uh, were able to, uh, overcome, uh, that particular situation very easily. Uh, whereas at Newbie, it took a little bit, but once they got going, they were like a steam train just shooting up right behind you. They just couldn't quite get over that first hurdle, uh, uh for the longest time. When they finally did, they ended up accidentally resetting themselves back to zero. Oh, wow. So the fact that they were right behind you, like they were in, they were uh, heading for Sherlock when you were finishing, um, that says a lot about uh, newbie's abilities in this game and, and kind of knowing, you know, what to do. Plus the luck being on their side. Yeah. So he reset to zero experience. Yes. By yeah. Accident. Um, they ran into a red dragon uh, at level five and just hit the reset button. Uh, out of uh, sheer habit. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this was after trying to explore for a very long time and just kept on resetting to save gold and just muscle memoried a reset at the exact wrong time and had to go through that level one grind with no gear again. Yeah, because. According to my splits, it took me 10 minutes to get to level 5, even with that, so I have to imagine that's the difference. I still uh, did a fantastic job. Both of you did a fantastic job. Um, once you uh, both got over that first hurdle, you really started to take off. It was just you strapped rockets on and, and went for the moon. Um, it was that. It was the, the terrible uh, stat gains. Uh, being that you both went for straight HP builds, and we're getting everything but strength HP. Yeah, it was... I couldn't take down that red dragon, because I couldn't get... I couldn't... I didn't have enough HP to look through two of his hits to even do, like, swing heal more. It was... it was a nightmare. And then I couldn't find coal for the longest time, and I, I completely forgot about it. I was like... I completely forgot about coal, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna find these coordinates, and then I'll, I'll get Hawksness, and 
and I'll be good to go. And then I was like, oh shit, I need to find coal. And I had no idea where it was. And eventually found it. Yeah, it was those armored knights we were talking about before that were kind of the gatekeepers to coal because every time you went towards coal, they would kill you. Yeah, and they like to resist my... I mean, when I was sitting on 40 HP and I could live through maybe one of their swings and maybe get two hurt marts off, that's when they decided they always they kept wanting to resist me. Oh wow, he got it on 19. Yes, he did, with the death necklace. Just, that's interesting. Hey, just risking it for the biscuit. And we have the dot done from Eternal Newbie at... 2 hours, 7 minutes, 14 seconds, get out your GG's. Both fantastic runs. They were, um, really that, if you look at that 9 minute difference, right, that 9 minute difference, had uh, Newbie not accidentally reset on himself, uh, that would have been, that would have been it. Yeah, it would have been really, really close. Um, I yeah, got that's just... going, I ever got everyone, um... The, uh, I got work in the morning, so um, thanks for thanks everyone for uh, commentating and restreaming and tracking and all that. Uh, uh, thank you for your fantastic run. I think so. Yeah, you did a good job there, and you're you get to sit and watch on the twelfth as Eternal Newbie. Yeah, we we all feel sorry for what happened to you, Eternal Newbie, at the start. Just that muscle memory Tell reset me. after you had finally yeah, broken yeah, we, through. We all feel sorry for what happened to you, Eternal Newbie, at the start. That's just a rough right way to just lose that muscle the race. Memory reset after you had finally broken through. I uh, like you might have a little bit it's of a rough right way to lose a race. There we go. There it is. I'm here. Hello. Fantastic run. GG. Uh, yes, GG. You did a very good job on that. Um, uh, you had a, uh, a, a bit of a rough start, as we were talking about before, though. Hello. And then accidentally hitting the Fantastic reset button run. and uh, setting yourself back to zero. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, that, that was um, that was actually a complete accident. A, um, I just yeah, had to, that had to have been muscle before, memory after trying to save the gold for so long. Button. Yeah, pretty much. Zero. Uh, but but with that, you only had a nine minute difference. Yeah, so that, that had really to have been was the thing memory. that unfortunately uh, so uh, cost it for you. But you did were able to catch back but, up. But you found coal that, first, which meant that you had, had the uh, armor so uh, longer really than he did, which really gave you a, uh, a huge uh, advantage uh, there. Uh, it was you, really coming down to the wire. Were able to catch back up. You found coal yeah, I was wondering if I found coal first because that was the, way uh, up in the corner, uh, uh, just away from everything really else. So I was I was really happy to find that at the time, but yeah, there was just no way to overcome that difference. But yeah, I uh, I tried grinding on the blue slimes, but I couldn't find any to begin with. And then um, after I hit level two, like 25 minutes in, I immediately and found that we had hurt more. I immediately thought that I was way behind and there was no way I was going to catch up. And then, yeah, after that reset, it was just I, 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 I just felt like it was all over. I almost I came this close to just forfeiting right there. Well, it was it, it really was really super close. Um, the you had an advantage with the uh, with the death necklace to be able to shave off as much time as you were able to, uh, right there at well, the end. It was, um, it, it really was in fact, really uh, had you? I, I, close. I think um, because of the you, amount of MP you, you guys were getting out of these the, uh, weird the strength HP builds that were just not giving you any it, strength or HP, uh, right there at you the probably end, could have um, done that uh, fact, death necklace uh, dive been, earlier. Think, I had uh, been able to take Tyra, uh, uh, Tyranex right there at the end, weird uh, which would have been a fantastic comeback. Any um, strength or HP. Probably yeah, I thought about trying to grind earlier. first to uh, before I dove uh, for the uh, sword and the right necklace. Um, um, but I didn't think that uh, with my agility and, and HP at that point, I didn't think I'd be able to make it down there.
Well, you had plenty of agility this seed, so... Oh, yeah. We definitely ended up with plenty of agility, yes. I thought that was the weirdest part about this. You both went for strength HP builds, well, and, you had and both ended with those being the seed, lowest so... stats um, between the two of you. Um, with uh, Tyridex uh, having a, a uh, having strength HP of just barely enough. With those being the lowest stats. Yeah, and um, um, I... Between the two of you. Um, I almost went for a strength uh, agility uh, build, but at the last second, I'm like, uh, I'll I'll do a strength HP, HP just because that seems to work better for most of the time. It it actually made me wonder if if uh, because of the way that this uh, strength HP build was uh, happening with uh, not being able to get any strength or HP, if you'd went with a different build, if that would have turned out to be it, more beneficial. It actually for you. made me wonder if you. If well, I almost did this, uh, um, at the beginning was, uh, whenever I was trying to find. With uh, loose lime to grind on i wasn't finding anything but i was playing i was finding tons of drakis that i couldn't really hit i almost went back to do like an agility mp build uh just so that my strength would start off a few points higher just so i would have something to get me up to level two quicker At uh, at quite a bit a uh, a game changer if you had done that. Um, but it was still it was still a fantastic run. I mean, only a nine minute difference considering what happened at the very beginning at, is uh, not a bit something a, to be scoffed uh, at. And I think with the uh, with the upcoming race that you're going to be still, in, still a uh, run, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with for sure. Considering what well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Is not something to be scoffed at and uh i think with the uh with the upcoming hey smashy uh in, what was the uh, details um, on that upcoming race that newbie will be in for, sure. for uh, his slot in the uh possible slot in the tournament um and, uh, right now we're still waiting on hey, one smashy, race to uh, determine how many people get in but it is will be in september 12th for, uh, at the, uh, possible slot in the tournament i believe nine PM Eastern. Um, right now, we're still is going to be on one race big race how many people get between in, all the two and three runners. September twelfth, which unfortunately that, Eternal Newbie is now in that group. I believe nine but PM Eastern. Tomorrow we will find out one big race if it's four or three that will move on to the brackets. Runners, which unfortunately Eternal Newbie is now in that group. But and of course, also a little bit of fun. We will also we will find, find out, out who. Between Mr. Holmes and Tristel, MTBG will be going into that big race. So, oh, uh, great. A little bit we'll have to go up against we'll one of those find out guys. Who, between Mr. Holmes and Tristel, MTBG will be going into that big race. So, well, thankfully, it's not a. Thankfully, there's at least two other spots in that race. So. <laughs> well, that well, I can shoot for one of those then. Well, thankfully it's not a. Thankfully, there's at least two other spots in that race. So. Yeah, you've got a pretty good chance, I believe. Um, it's just really, honestly, with uh, these randomizers, it does depend on the the luck of the draw. What's the seed going to give you? Um, but I, you got a pretty yeah, good head on your shoulders for like team, taking advantage of like figuring really out like what this seat offers and using that. The, uh, so uh, the definitely somebody to uh, to keep an eye on in the upcoming race. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, like hopefully, in my play in race, I will try not to reset on accident. So uh, definitely somebody. To yeah. One other thing I want to ask you and. Um, Tyranex kind of went opposite ways with your early exploration once you got going. Yeah, you one other thing you I found ask. Cantlin and Cole you first, and, and um, you found Rimaldar last while Tyranex he was able to ways get that Rimaldar and those keys early. You got going. How did it feel to be you without keys Cantlin for so long after? You oh, found my Rimaldar word. I was, I was, was racking my brain trying to think of where I had early. not gone yet. How did it feel to be without keys? Because I knew so that um, once I found Breconary on the other continent, and that was all that was there, um, I was I was kind of at a loss at that point because I had no clue where Rimmeldar was. And it took me a long time to realize that I had died in the mountain cave before I had fully explored that area. So it... <laughs> yeah, that's never a good feeling whenever you're without keys for so long, and it's it's all it's the last thing you find. 
Um, yeah, I, I immediately thought that uh, Tyrannex was like already in grind mode at that point and was on his way down to the uh, down through Charlock. So uh, it was it was not a good feeling. But uh, once I did find them, um, all I had to do all I could do at that point was just try my best to catch back up. Well, you gave it a good try, especially with fighting one level earlier, which is huge on these high experience requirements in these later levels. But well, you gave it a good try, especially with. Okay, so he did go to level, level twenty. Early, I was wondering about huge that. On yeah, he went to level twenty. It had about ten strength on that level, level, which is <laughs> oh, so wow. he just fought without the death necklace and yeah. got a whole bunch of double attacks and killed him that way. Yeah, yeah. He went to well, level 20. once I got to level 19 and saw how much level, MP I had, I had like so he just 17 heal mores, and I thought, and well, if I use the death necklace, I'll be under the way. minimum, but I'll have I have so much MP that I can afford double heal if I need to. Yeah, that was a risk he was not willing to take, but he just had so much ahead of you because he also managed to make a huge run to Garenham yeah, straight off the bat. And take, there was only a bamboo pole there, but it was enough so to kill Drakey's with. And he also once managed you managed to, to get a couple of Drakey's, you saw what happened after that. Yeah, bat and yeah, absolutely. There was only a bamboo pole there, but. It was enough to kill Drakey's with, and once you managed to get a couple of Drakey's, you saw what happens. After but with that, that, Skunk Rocker, do you have anything else you'd like to ask? Oh, no, I've, uh, I'm good for the night. Um, I just want to thank you again for your amazing run. I can't wait to see what you do on the 12th. But with that, Skunk Rocker, thank do you, you very have much. Anything else and you'd like to GG ask? GG Oh no, I've uh, I'm good. Yeah, Tunex right. not here um, anymore. Yeah, wherever probably he gone, is. Probably right. gone to sleep already. <laughs> he, he did say, yeah, he did say he has to work tomorrow, which uh, but so do I. Uh, off, yeah, I'm, I, I, really I imagine know. with the bit of a marathon we've had between these two seeds, it's getting late for a bunch of us. So yeah, I'm gonna be headed to bed too. Yeah, good night, and I'd say. Hey, it's about time to wrap it up. So this is Smashy with my co-commentator Skunk Rocker. I want to thank Math Girl Seven Eighteen for the double duty restreaming tonight, and Archfield Monk for the tracking in this race. Give them all a big thanks, and until next time, just. I'm a little tired, I'm sorry. As Veron would say, may your moves be excellent and your seeds be maybe a little bit classier than this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. And I we're gonna be sending everybody to BT's channel. Good night, everybody.